Uh, hi, I'm Congriotis. Um, I'm the, this year's judge for the Callan Art Prize for 2023. And um, I'm the editor of uh, Artist Profile and really happy to be here. And I'm gonna talk about some of the works that have stood out for me uh, in the exhibition. So uh, perhaps we could start with um, Dagmar's uh, Corella's work and also Steve Lopez, uh, both are excellent uh, painters, in particularly in the figurative uh, form, and, uh, and have long been um, committed to that. And uh, their, their subject is quite, uh, creates a, a psychological uh, space that um, always gets you thinking about the, the figure's relationship to the environment. Uh, also, uh, just really intrigued by Hannah Lang's uh, work, uh, and particularly the play between uh, the dark and um, the dark lines and the, the areas where there's no dark lines, and how the artist has created this lovely emphasis between the two. And uh, it's it's a lovely uh, uh, component of this painting, and the subtlety of it. Uh, draws you in even though it's a painting that can also be experienced um, at a distance. I'm really also uh, David Collins' work, uh, beautiful control of brushwork and colour and, and space. Uh, the marks are, are just exquisite. And he has this lovely way of uh, shifting our sense of uh, place. Uh, with the, the way he, he uses uh, the, the spatial composition within his work. Art Prize is, is a, a painting award and I particularly like Lee Bethel's work uh, that is included in the exhibition. Um, because it actually pushes the idea of painting. When you look really closely to Lee's uh, work, you see the, uh, the play of shadows of colour behind the work. It's a beautiful, inspiring work. I'm, I, I get a sense that uh, it was made during COVID, uh, where many of us were, were looking at birds as a way of feeling a lot freer. And there are many works in the prize uh, that make certain references to the COVID period. Michael Bell is also, a, a, it's wonderful work, it's beautiful subject and this kind of uh, relationship with uh, uh, various uh, artists in, in, uh, in the early part of the 20th century and late 20th century modernist painters. And uh, it's got a wonderful dynamic and, um, and excellent control of color and subject and uh, just, just an outstanding work too in this it's an exhibition. This is um, uh, Joanna Gambetto's uh, uh, painting. Uh, it's just the subject of, and the various scenes that are going on in this one large work is, uh, is quite monumental. And it's a, a credit to the artists that they've been, uh, the formal elements have brought the various uh, uh, scenes into a, a complete composition and um, uh, and congratulations to the artist it's a, it's it's a it's a wonderful work I um, Joe Blundell uh, painting uh, it's a beautiful uh, 
painting that uh, draws you in. There's a moodiness, moodiness to it, a sadness to it. Even though there's speckles of light and uh, there's, 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 there's a hidden darkness there that, um, that is, uh, is waiting to reveal itself. Spencer Calverley. It's a work, a metaphysical magpie. It's just beautifully uh, painted. Love the brush, the use of brushwork again, and and just this uh, concentrated image of a, of a magpie. And there's these lovely little details like this here that gets you thinking about what the, what the artist's intention is. It it does bring an experience that. Uh, to me is a daily experience and uh, watching magpies and, uh, and beautifully executed uh, painting. Um, Georgina Pollard's uh, little painting here, uh, the artist says it's inspired by textiles but it, it's doing a lot of other things uh, for me um, in, in regards to the use of colours but also the shapes and how they're playing off each other. And there's a lovely little quotation in the frame that uh, reminded me of um, uh, some of Pat Lada's uh, framing techniques. Uh, it's just a beautiful little work. It's, it's certainly an artist to, to keep watching. It's wonderful work. Uh, Peter Sharp's work. Uh, um, you get the sense that Peter is, is kind of reducing the subject uh, to, in a, in a way that is just leaving uh, the essence of what he's been studying. I'm not, it, it has a sense of nature to it, but the, the, the play with the, um, with the paint and the layering and then uh, surfaces where the paint is very thin and the lines and the shapes, it's, a, it's, an, it's an artist who uh, is always intriguing and this is a very good example of what Peter does uh, very well. Um, and moving across here, uh, to me, um, Marie Haggerty is a, is a standout in this very good collection of um, artists, uh, uh, very much uh, both in um, early and established artists. It's a uh, broad representation of figurative and non-figurative work and, uh, and has a good sense of an, uh, a national perspective uh, too. Um, and, and amongst that, uh, Marie's work stood out for me and, and I really like the play with painting and collage and the sense of the figurative and non-figurative uh, aspect of it. And it's simply paired back to tones and, um, and there's a lovely uh, connection to, um, to art history again, to early and, and late modernist uh, painters, not just in this country, but also uh, overseas. I just kept on coming back to it and um, it's, it's, a, it, uh, it's a very powerful work.